What's going on everybody? C4 here. Welcome back to the channel. And today I planned this all along. I didn't know this this trailer was gonna get released at like you know, I think it was like 4 30 my time. Um but I decided to live to get up and watch the Madden 21 reveal trailer, and we have our first gridiron notes. But we're gonna follow this up. But let's just look at the trailer. You know, my thoughts. This is the second time I've seen it. I've never watched the full thing because I, I stopped like halfway through. I just saw it leaked on Twitter. Um but my, my expectations coming in to this trailer, it's the sizzle reel. It's, you never get, you know, if they were going to do something big uh, for like a franchise mode update, you know, they never show it in this trailer. This trailer is where they show, you know, the ball carrier mechanics and, and, and just some close-ups of highlight reel runs and stuff like that. So let, let's see here. we got the stadium, the Vegas Raiders stadium there. Uh, they're showing all the rookie quarterbacks. We got Lamar Jackson. I mean, we know that X factors are going to be coming back. Uh, graphics. I mean, hopefully, I don't know how much better the graphics can get. There's new stick controls. I mean, yeah, animation and stuff like that. Some people like it, but I, I mean, maybe if they added some different ones, that's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, I assume, you know, it's one of those things. How are the stick controls gonna affect the normal player? If I had to make a question, because we knew, and like, yo, pass rush was not overpowered last year. But as someone that uses defensive linemen, that's good news for me. But my question is, for all these things that we're seeing, are they going to be for every player? Or is every player going to feel a little bit different? Or is it only going to be your X-Factors? Are the X-Factors going to get abilities that give you these new you know, stick controls and these new pass rush animations and stuff like that? Um, but again, I mean, again, it's the Sizzle Reel trailer. You know, and clearly, because it's something to finally talk about Madden 21, I was going to give a reaction on it, but there's only so much. Oh, I love seeing Matt Breida get some highlight real day. Oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah, did they already have that? When you score a touchdown, you just hit a button, and, you know. Uh, all right, what do we got here? MVP edition, pre-order, play three days early. Conditions of whatever, 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 whatever. Um... Yeah, it's the sizzle reel trailer. There's only there's only so much you can really talk about. Like, what am I gonna like? How much better are the graphics gonna be able to look on the new next gen console? Like, I think the graphics look pretty well. I mean, I play on PC. I have a dope monitor. Might be a little bit different experience than people on console with you know a bigger TV or something like that. But I I don't really know how the uh, how much the graphics can grow and gain. But I guess they have said that if you buy Madden 21 on previous gen, you'll get it on next gen for free, like upscaled and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. Even though I do play on PC, I actually might this year try to hop over and play it on console a little bit. Um, but there's, there's, in terms of information, in terms of getting overwhelmed with information, it's the sizzle reel. This is the the official reveal trailer. It's the same thing that we get every single year. There's not too much that we can take from that. However, they have released the first wave of gridiron notes, and that's where things get a little more disappointing. I don't know. Let's look at those. All right. So now we're here for the gridiron notes. This is definitely where you're going to be able to take a lot more information from. These are, you know, what you want to stay up to date on. We get them all the time. We get one. It's, it's a pattern. We get one now. We're going to get one about gameplay. We're going to get one about franchise. We're going to get one about mutt. We're going to get one about face of franchise. Maybe not face of franchise because that's essentially what this is. But you might get one about like Superstar KO. What's coming to that mode. Um, the only thing I'll take away from this is from, from the opening thing here. Hey, bad fans. And they go, yada, yada, yada. They talk about everything and how, you know, you want to use this page. But I do feel like today, Gridiron Notes will focus on the announcements of Madden NFL 21. We will share additional details on game modes like Face of Franchise. So as we go through this, and we're not going to put, again, too much weight in. We're just reading it here. Uh, I don't, you know, as, as a franchise, connected franchise fan, I, I personally am not... Uh, overly enthused about Madden 21 when they're leading off with face of the franchise because it's not a mode for me at least what we got in Madden 20 was not the mode for me there was an event I played it for two days before the game came out and you know that was that was good enough for me I was like yeah you know it's, you get through year one you play the, the college football playoff it's 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 kind of different but it's not my mode it's not a mode for me and the fact that they're leading off with it again, I get it. It's Madden's baby. This is something that I, you know, it feels like Suits decided that, you know, this is what we want. This is what the people want. They want face of franchises. For casual fans, 
You can, you know, you can hang out with Alvin Kamara. Like all these just... It, this face of franchise, to me, to me, make, it just feels like this is a decision coming from higher up that this is what we need to push. That's all I'm going to say about it. But, you know, if they put a lot of time and effort into it, which it appears, you know, if they're leading with this, they did, maybe I can hop in and check it out. Maybe it'll be something that's a little bit more for me. I need the... I need the depth to it, and as a content creator, it can't be something, like, the, the biggest reason why I never did anything, re, you know, relating to face the franchise on my channel, is is what can you really do to make it stand out from anyone else? If you have five other YouTubers playing face the franchise and doing a face the franchise mode, it's gonna, you know, you, oh, I can mix in some GTA highlights or something like that, but generally speaking, it's gonna be the same path, the same story, and, and there's not a whole lot of content there. So, you know, obviously Face of Franchise, it's not meant for me. Face of Franchise is meant for the casual player, and I get why they do it. They get Face of Franchise out here to try, and in a way, they Face of Franchise is trying to get more players to play Franchise. Because after, you know, a year or two in Madden 20, or even just a year, it turned into just basically Franchise mode. So, in a way, Face of Franchise is not anti-connected Franchise mode, because I do think that an objective of the face of franchise mode is to be a pathway for more players that had no appeal whatsoever of playing franchise mode to be like, oh, you know, this is kind of a cool mode. This is better than modern superstar KO. So from that standpoint, I get it. But let's see what we have here. Face of franchise rise to fame. Face of franchise returns. Yay. Create yourself and begin your career as a quarterback in high school where you'll attempt to lead your team to a state championship. Uh, well, you should mention while your career starts in high school, it doesn't mean you'll be the starting quarterback. Don't worry. No story spoilers here. So isn't, that's roughly how the last one started. Uh, next, you'll start your college career on National Signing Day, where you'll pick between 10 Division One schools. Again, pretty much exactly what we had in Madden 20. I don't know if the schools have changed. I don't know if 10 is what we had last year, if it's less or if it's more. But we have 10 schools. You'll be able to play two seasons of the college football playoffs, where you'll attempt to win uh, not one, but two championships. So we'll... Um, you know, that's four games. That should be four games of college that you get to play, which versus the two that you got in Madden 20. And anytime you can get a little snippet of being able to immerse yourself in that college football world, you know, there is some, some added benefit to that. I, I you know, that is something that was kind of cool when I first got to play for the first time. But again, the replayability was another big reason why face a franchise didn't appeal to me. There wasn't a lot of replayability. Um, we got while in college, You'll have the chance to stay as a quarterback or switch positions to a running back or wide receiver. So this was even more so than anything we wanted in franchise mode, anything we wanted in gameplay. The biggest feature we knew that was coming in Madden 21 was that if face of franchise was coming back, they were going to add more positions. So now you can move to running back or wide receiver, which at least when they add running back, it means I mean, technically if it is appealing for me to actually go on and play, we could make a PL Mullins career. Um... After your college career, you'll be attending the NFL Combine, where you'll have the chance to test your skills and run the iconic 40-yard dash. So that's an improvement. I, I thought we were a little bit honeypotted last year in this face of franchise mode when they said that you could do the... Like, they, they, they were saying and, and made note that the Combine was there. And then everyone was thinking back to those old-school Madden games where you could run the 40, do the bench press and all that stuff. And in reality, the Combine in face of franchise in Madden 20 was skills trainer drills and some cutscenes. So the fact that you can actually do some combine drills, like that's definitely the direction that face a franchise needs to go in terms of depth to appeal to a player like myself. So, you know, I guess some points there that you can actually do a drill. Uh, and then when you finally enter the NFL, your career doesn't stop. You'll have a chance to experience different storylines each season as you make your case for the Hall of Fame. So sounds like that. They obviously learned that there really was only one year worth of content in Madden 20 face a franchise. And I am assuming they added specific um, storylines in your... Obviously, you know, your, your, your scenario engine that you get. And they're going to have specific ones for your career. Uh, to the extent that they do it, again, can they do this? This is gonna, what is going to affect the replayability. Is there going to be enough different storylines that it's going to make every... You know, like I said, if it goes for me, I'm a YouTuber. Is, is there going to be enough different storylines that it's going to be unique? That if 10 YouTubers are doing face of franchises, you're going to be generally getting different experiences for all 10 of those different series or is it generally going to be the same thing there's you know three different arcs that you could go you could be the good guy the bad guy and the what if guy or something like that and then again it comes down to like really there's just not enough playability replayability for someone like me that's looking for that in-depth mode 
Uh, we have gameplay features, and they went through that, which you saw. There's skill stick. You'll be able to combo together all your evasive moves on the right analog stick. Um, I get, you know, is that wasn't that already in the game? You know, exactly. Um, but I, I know, I guess it's on the analog stick there, right? So they're getting rid of like hit B for juke and spin. So that, I mean, that's what we used to have. I remember that used to be old school for Madden, having it on the sticks. Uh, I don't know why they're going back to that. I don't know why they're flip-flopping, but uh, maybe there's a reason. There's more pass rush moves. This is kind of cool for me. This is the first thing that's like, oh, that's actually for me because I, you know, I use her, the defensive line. So uh, all your pass rush moves and block shits around 20 will now be on the right analog stick. You'll have full control to choose the exact rush move you want and when you want to do it. Be sure to use your rush move strategically, though, as each press rusher has a limited amount of available moves per play. Blockers will start to build resistance against repeated moves. This will give you more control and adds a layer of strategy to the most important aspects of defense. Cool. First thing in this little thing that gets a big check mark. That sounds pretty cool. Uh, Location-based tackles. These are tackles when the ball carrier defender are aware of the first down marker end zone and pylon. Right there already sounds like uh, that's good and bad because that means you're not going to get that brick wall tackling that we had in Madden 19. Remember when there was a it'd be 30 inches and there'd be that guy. No matter what would happen, you could not get that first down. It could be a 240 pound power back against a 170 pound corner that hates to tackle, and that corner is going to brick wall you. But if there's just something there that that has something with the AI that players go for that you know down marker, the ends on the pylon that much more. Um, I think that's pretty. That, that's also going to get a positive from me. So, uh, we'll also have a series called Talking Matter. We sit down and talk with the developers. Uh, first, we'll be on the 25th of June on Twitch as we sit down with Clint to give a deep dive into gameplay. So, we're probably going to have to wait a little bit longer for franchise. We got some screenshots here. I mean, the game should look good. I, again, I don't know how much better graphics can get from PS4, Xbox One, up to the PS5, and the Xbox Series 1X. But, you know, I, I have no issue. I don't think anyone has ever complained about the Madden graphics. I mean, some people will complain about the, the player models, but the graphics themselves, uh, they look good. So, yeah, how are we feeling? I, again, I, I will just say this. And I, I, I know there's going to be a lot of people on social media and stuff like that. Like, where's Franchise? But they didn't talk about Mutt. I, I saw Mills, a guy on, tw uh, on Twitter. Um, I follow him. He's, he's, he's a really good guy in the community. He said that they didn't say anything about Ultimate Team. So th maybe they really are truly going to, you know, face the franchise as their baby. Clearly, they're going to put that on display. But, you know, maybe they're, you know, I just think we can't get a lot up in irons about, oh, they didn't do a single thing for franchise mode because there's nothing here for Ultimate Team either. So we're just, this is a gameplay and face of franchise is what they want to leave. The only thing we can take away from this is you're either going to like the, the stick move, the pass rush move, the tackles, which... For the pass rush moves in particular, I think for my play style, that's actually uh, a nice addition to the game. But if you're a franchise guy, I don't think it's time to be, to be coming down with, you know, burning stakes and stuff like that and, and trying to gather at City Hall and, and flip Madden's car over. You know, let's just let's just take a second here and just say, well, they didn't show anything with Mutt. So maybe there's still something big coming for franchise mode. And, and as we as I'm wrapping this video up, what am I looking for? Realistically, what am I looking for? Um, coaching carousel would be the biggest thing. Um, scouting, coaching carousel and scouting. I think if I had to get two things right in now, it'd be adding offensive defensive coordinators where I could start as an offensive or defensive coordinator. And, and therefore, it would have like your little skill tree that you can build and grow and not just spend all your XP on like ponder renegotiating and updating and, and revamping the uh, how you scout in the offseason for the draft. But we still gotta wait for that. We gotta wait for that. So how do you guys feel about the Madden 21 reveal trailer? I already know all the comments are gonna be something negative about there's nothing about franchise mode, but there's nothing about franchise mode. There's nothing about mud either. So you you know, we gotta wait and see. We're all in this holding pattern until we get more information. Uh but that does it for me today, guys. Thank you for watching. We are getting ready for the Madden 21 season. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, being pretty close to 130,000. So I would appreciate that if we can hit that sooner than later. And I'll uh, see you guys whenever we get more Madden at 21 news. Peace out.